what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla Salenza. If you are new here, this is Kobe. Show them your cute face. Look at it. Oh, baby. So Kobe is the star of today's video. This is my official like first pup date video. I decided since I got him, I'm gonna do a whole series on literally Kobe. I honestly think he likes the camera. Like look how chill he is. So as I was saying, this series is gonna be all about Kobe. I'm just gonna update you guys as he gets older. Today he is actually three months, so 12 weeks old. I'm so excited. He's growing up so fast, so we did get him at nine weeks, so it's already been three. Some updates for you guys. So when we first got Kobe, he was about six pounds. We actually weighed him last weekend, so about a week and a half ago, and he was 6.6 .6 pounds. And then we weighed him again yesterday, and he was 7.7 .7 pounds. He is slowly getting a little bit bigger we are giving him a little bit more food I showed you guys in another vlog he is taking TLC food basically on the package it tells us how much we have to give him for how much he weighs and how old he is etc he's also starting to learn a few tricks he knows sit he has that down pat I just put him down he wanted to go play with his toys but as I was saying so he's learning sit I mean well he knows sit now but we're teaching him paw we're teaching him down sometimes we get it sometimes we don't so we got to work on it so the Reader did give us a bunch of things when we picked him up. So one of them is his dog health record. So basically it tells us what kind of breed he is, it's a male, when he was born, etc. As well, it talks about all of his shots. So with the breeder, he got one shot. Now that he's reached 12 weeks, he's at a certain point where he needs to get his second shot. So today I actually have to call the vet the first time. I'm actually nervous. I don't know why I feel like I don't know. I'm just nervous calling them. I've never done this before. Like I have pets but like my stepmom and my dad would always take care of this stuff so Kobe's my little baby so this is the first time I'm doing it so he does need to get his second shot on November 19th which is in a couple days so like I mentioned I'm gonna give them a call hopefully it's not too late I don't think it is I don't know how it works with vets I don't know if it's like the doctor and you need to call like a week in advance or even longer so hopefully we can get him in otherwise I don't think it's a huge deal I'm just gonna call the vet now there is one in Burlington that I looked up online that has five-star readings and really really good reviews it's like 10 minutes away from us not even so I'm gonna give them a call yeah that's fine I can hold they put me on hold they put me on hold yeah so he's an f1b mini golden doodle color is apricot he has a little bit of white like on his tail and his chest and a tiny bit on his head yep he was born August 27th 2020 okay yes perfect thank you so much we will see you then okay thank you bye Yay! We booked his first appointment. Bubbles, you're going to the vet. This is his favorite toy ever. He loves this. Hi, baby. What's this? What's this? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? There you go. There you go. <laughs> he loves our front door. I don't know why. Honestly, actually, I think it's because like our door, there's some air. Like if I put my hand here, I can feel a breeze. And then obviously at the bottom. So I think that's why he likes coming over here. You want treats? Come. You know what this is, huh? Yeah, you know what this is, huh, baby? You're so friggin' cute. Okay, you ready? We're gonna show everybody your tricks, okay? What you've been learning. Yo, what are you sitting? That doesn't work. That doesn't work if you're already sitting. You ready? Ready? Sit. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. He knows sit so well. Like, I don't even have to give him a treat for sit. We're working on paw, though, so we'll see how that goes. Sometimes it's a hit, sometimes it's a miss. You gotta stay there. You can't come so close to me. Sit. Good boy. Can I have paw? Paw. Paw. Paw, Kobe. Sit. Paw, paw, Kobe paw, no, paw, Kobe, Kobe. He gets so distracted by all of the sounds everywhere. See, when he does it with daddy, he'll do it. With mommy, he doesn't do it. Sit, 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 paw, oh. good boy. Are you kidding me? Good boy. Defeat. I cannot, I just, I did all of the work. I did all of the work. Sit, give me paw, 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 paw. Oh. Good boy, good boy, <laughs> good boy. 
I should also mention these are the treats that we're giving him. So we actually Googled treats that are specifically good for golden doodles. And this is what came up as the top rated one. They're the lamb and salmon flavor. And he actually really likes them. So as you can see, they're actually a little bit big. That's like the realistic size almost. So usually we just make them a little bit smaller so that we can try and get a bunch of tricks out of him, you know? So it is a few days later and we are off to the vet, right baby? He's so chill, like he just is like, yeah, okay. Cutie mm. butt, I think he let one rip actually. I do smell it. Yeah, definitely. The appointment is at five o'clock. It's 4.50 now, so we're gonna get there right on time. We don't even know if we can both go in or like if we can go with him <sighs> at all for the appointment. I'm hoping we can because I feel like he's gonna be a little bit scared. I brought these two documents with us. One's his health record and then this one is just information for the vet about his food because I'm sure they're gonna ask about it. We are home now. We've been home for about two hours. It's like eight o'clock now. We probably got home at like six, maybe even earlier. Honestly, the appointment was quite fast. Kobe's doing pretty well. He actually slept. Oh, oh, okay. He wants to go down. He pretty much slept for the first like hour, hour and a half after we got home. The vet said that was actually going to happen just because of the shots. It was going to make him really sleepy. I couldn't really film anything while we were at the vet, but basically what happened is because of COVID, they weren't allowing people in at first so basically we had to give them a call and say we're here for the appointment and then only one of us ended up being allowed in so i went in with kobe alan stayed outside we checked in with the reception we weighed him so now he weighs 3.7 kilograms alan and i converted it to pounds and it was like 8.1 pounds so he has gained a little bit of weight and I think that's just because we recently upped his food because he's growing fast. After they checked Kobe in, we went into an exam room and then a technician came in. She kind of just gave me the gist of what shots he was gonna get as well as options for other shots. So I'll let you guys know what he got. They marked it down on his health record. So he got a bunch of like the distemper, virus, influenza, those type of shots. And then he also took Bordetella. Now she did explain Bordetella, you can actually actually get injected or you can take it orally so he actually took it orally I actually wasn't allowed to be with him when he got his shot done they took him into a back room just because of COVID but I could hear him he kind of made like a squeal he was like ah! and I was like oh no it's my baby but it was pretty fast like they literally took him from me and they were gone for like a minute or two no, honestly not even and then the vet himself brought him back in and the vet talked to me he was really nice he kind of went over what happened and he talked to me about the shots and just anything moving forward overall he was really good i was really happy but he's so sleepy now he's just been kind of hanging out here he knows i'm talking about him so he's just staring at me but hey baby hi so the vet said he could feel really tired for the next 24 hours so he got his injection on his left leg it was actually so cute for like the first hour he had a limp leg i don't know if it was sore or hurting him but it was really cute so we're just trying to be careful like if we pick him up or anything not to hurt him too much on this side he's so cute resting his head on the windowsill oh my god he's so cute so it's now saturday and kobe's getting his first bath Showtime. Showtime, baby. So this is what we have to work with. This is our shower bathtub. We don't have one of those things that like you spray. What are those called, babe? I don't know. So we just have this bowl as well as this mug that we're going to use. And we're just going to pour the water on him, if you get what I mean. This is what we're using. This is what I read online that's good for golden doodles specifically. This is just Burt's Bee. It's a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> Honestly, in general can get ear infections so we're kind of staying away from his head for now oh my god his legs look at when they're in the water how his hair just like yeah. spins Hi, baby. good boy good boy he's a lot better with the water than i thought he was gonna be good boy good boy kobe Boy, do his paws really good because he's been at work with mama. Hi, baby. Hello. The shampoo smells a little bit weird, doesn't it? Don't you think? What does it smell like? I don't know. He looks so skinny because his hair's wet. Oh my god. He's so cute, baby. Oh. Hello. Where are you going? 
going? He looks like a little rat. Good boy. I think we gotta get a picture of him when he's out. Hi, baby. He's gonna shake like crazy. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Hi. Good baby. He's a good boy. <laughs> Imagine he looks completely different. That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> no, I don't think he won't. It smells like a horse. That's what I was thinking. It smells like a horse. That's what I was, That's what I asked you. The shampoo smells weird. That's why I was like, he smells. It smells like a horse. It's it so weird. It smells like worse. I don't know. It says for puppies, so. And that's the one I read online. It said Burt's Bees. You enjoy this, I think. I think you might enjoy this. If we had a blow dryer, it'd be easier for him to get back to his normal state. Just watch his eyes. Pro tip, but when I brush him, I always like hold his head and like, I don't know, kind of, I always think about it like a, a hairdresser. Like you just protect the eyes because obviously the brush is perkly and you don't want to get him and he's so fluffy. So sometimes it's hard to tell like where his eyes are or anything. See, he's looking better already. So we actually just stopped brushing him. I read online to not brush them when they're wet. So we stopped right now. We're gonna wait till he's fully dry. He's like pretty, he's getting there. He's not wet. He's like damp right now. Alan's all worried because he thinks that since we brushed him, we might have messed up his coat, but I think he's fine. Imagine it doesn't go curly anymore. It, it, it's not gonna go straight. I have to Google this one now. <laughs> You're freaking out? Yeah, I'm freaking out. <laughs> So it is quite some time later. I forgot to film an outro, my bad, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I can't wait to do my next pup date video. Kobe is already getting so big, you guys will literally not believe it. So look out for that in a couple of weeks. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more Kobe content, make sure you subscribe below. Give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.